Yo guys, Blues Knowledge here and welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a very quick reaction to our first signing of the winter by the San Jose Earthquake and his name is called Joe Quiberg or Quiberg or something like that. Um, he of course is a left back from Colombia slash Swedish kind of defender and let me just say that my first reaction to this news was like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, honestly, I honestly have no idea who in the world this guy is. I have never heard of him. Apparently, when I did look on Wikipedia, um, that he actually played for a club in Sweden that is in the d third tier of Swedish football. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce the club that he just recently played because it is a really really long name and it's really hard to pronounce of course if you guys are swedish or are watching this channel and know a little bit about uh, about a swedish you guys probably can pronounce that name like i generally do not know how you pronounce that that club name all i can say is he played for a club that starts with ifb that's all i can say but you know, my overall reaction to this news about him signing this new club is that I'm not that excited about this. I mean, I actually generally feel like this is a bit of a panic buy for us, mainly because I feel like, you know, for for us, when we... I know the fact that we need a new left back, considering the fact that we don't actually have a decent left back. I mean, the only left back that we had is Kofi Sarkodie, and you know how shit... He is last season, and I cannot believe how game in and game out he still played it with us th last season. And the only reason why we kept playing him there last season is because we don't generally have a left back. Unless, of course, we decide to put Shea Salinas out of position and play in the, the left back kind of role. Other than that, we just don't have a true left back. So it makes sense why the fact that we need to sign a left back and we need to boost our defense. However, the fact is, is that we just signed a guy that is playing in the third tier of Swedish football, uh, playing with a team that nobody have ever heard of. And also, if you look on his Wikipedia page, the only thing that is on there is just a description of when he has played his last club and doing his history um, playing in all the professional club. There's nothing else that is on there. It's very, very little on there. There's barely inform any information about his playing style and what is he kind of like. And I even look on the Quakes Reddit page and nobody have ever heard of this guy. The only thing that I've heard about the the Quakes Reddit page is the fact that people are saying that they're pretty optimistic the fact that he could potentially be a pretty good left back for us. Well, for me, I'm not that kind of guy. I actually, you know, for me, I'm kind of a <clears throat> kind of a pessimist in terms of signing this guy because again, I don't know anything about this guy and the fact is is that he <clears throat> he played in the third tier of Sweden this football and I know people is gonna bash on on the comments and saying that well why do you care about him playing at the club level you haven't even seen him play at all and sometimes maybe there are gonna be guys that come to the MLS that play in a complete unknown league and they do find success in the MLS however having said that it's very rare that has happened and the fact that we decided to sign a guy and potentially put him to to play in that left back position week in and week out it's i just feel like it's probably not going to work out very well i mean you know like i said with the swedish third division i don't even think there's any coverage of that that uh league let alone maybe not even any coverage in sweden too so i just don't know if this is this is a good signing out. I feel like this is just one of those panic buy. I mean, I don't understand why in the world. And this is the thing that I always get annoyed when I'm a Quakes fan. Why in the world does our, our GM, and, you know, even in past GMs, uh, the shit one that we had, um, we just signed some unknown players that nobody have heard of. And we just don't sign guys that are MLS proven and that fact that they can 
definitely be be decent enough to play in a specific position to help us. I mean, it's not like we don't have any money. I mean, this club, you know, I know this club is not the richest club in MLS, but we do have the resources to maybe trade a guy that is currently playing in the MLS and bring him in. And, you know, I don't get why we just don't do that more often. Why don't we do something that, you know, other clubs are doing where they're trading some guys and signing guys that they have they know the fact that they have some potential so it really kind of baffles me but let me know in the comments what do you think of this signing do you think this is a good signing or do you think this is a terrible signing and the fact that it's just gonna be kind of like a panic buy but one thing I will say this is that hopefully you know coming into the winter it's pretty uh it's pretty pretty um it's pretty sure that the fact that the Quakes are going to potentially boost up their defense because I know for a fact that after what they saw last season where we can see like 60 something odd goals uh we need to boost our defense and I just think that with Mikhail Star who by the way uh I have heard heard a little bit of you guys talking about in, in the last video that he is a very kind of defensive kind of manager which you know for me I'm a little bit concerned the fact that he is kind of a defensive manager because that just reminds me of Dominic Kittner and the fact that I I really hope he doesn't implement a system that is like the MLS 1.0 system where it goes very where we go just go very defensive and trying to counter teams on the counter attack we really need to we need to at least sustain that kind of Chris Leach system where we do you know try to go on the attack but at the same time I think one thing we could eliminate from the Chris Leach system which always go on the attack is that don't play at the back when it's clear that you shouldn't be playing at the back. I think that will be one thing that I hope we will address coming into this new season. But either way, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you guys leave a like. Smash that subscribe button. And again, if there is more signing coming soon, I will, of course, do a reaction video right away. Uh, by the way, this signing just happened yesterday. I just found this out last night. So, you know, I had to make a video about this right away. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you guys leave a like. Smash that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. And I will see you guys the next time the Quakes make a new signing.